Hello guys, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make your own calculator program to find dot products using an angle or without using an angle. The formula for finding the dot product can be difficult to memorize, which is why making a simple calculator program might be helpful. You can pause the video at any time and take a look at the key press history below. So before showing you how to make the program, I first want to show you how it works. So let's go to program and execute dot prod. And let's first find our dot product with the angle. And let's say our length of A is 12. And our length of vector B is 7. And the angle is 78.5. And we find our dot product to be about 16.7. So next, let's try to find the dot product without using an angle. And let's say our A1 is 7 our a2 is negative 9 and let's say our a3 is 2 our b1 is 4 our b2 is negative 10 and our b3 is 3 and we find our dot product to be 124 all right so now we can start making our program so go to program and create new and i'm going to name this dot prod and remember that calculator programs have to be less than seven letters long. And the first thing we're going to do is clear the home screen. So option number eight, clear home. And next, we're going to create a menu, so alpha D. And we first need to title our menu. So I'm going to call this menu dot product dot product and comma and now we need to start creating options so we can either find the dot product using an angle or without using an angle so our first option is with an angle so with angle and this is option one and our next option is without an angle without angle and this is option number two. And now start on a new line. And we can start making the program for finding the dot product with the angle first. So go back to program and the ninth option label and label one because with angle was option one. And under label one, we need to take some input. So some input and the first input we're going to take is for the length of vector a so the length of a and now we need to store this input as a variable and I'm going to go with a now we do the same thing for the length of vector b so again the length of b and again store as a variable so let's just say B. And finally, we need to take input for our angle. So our angle. It's like that. And oops. And I'm going to store our angle input as the variable Z. And now we can start making the dot product formula when using the angle. And it's pretty straightforward. It's the length of vector A times the length of vector B, which is just our AB, so A times B, multiplied by the cosine of our angle, so the cosine of Z. And now all of this we need to store as another variable. So using this STO with an arrow, we're going to store it as D. And our last step is to simply display our answer because our answer is nothing but the variable D. So go back to program and under I slash show, the third option display. And we're going to display dot product. Dot product is, and then comma D. And now finally, all we need to do is stop this program after we display our dot product. 
So go back to program and alpha G. So now that we've finished making the program for finding the dot product using an angle, we can now program for whenever we're not using the angle. So we're going to need another label. So go back to program and ninth option and this time label two. And we're going to ask for inputs again. And this time we're going to ask for a one a one and store the input for a one as just a and next we need to ask for input for a two a two and store as the variable and I'm going to go with C and we also need to ask for a3 if we have a three-dimensional vector and if we don't the uh, you can just put zero when the program asks you for a3 so a3 and we're going to store this as e and now we repeat the same thing we're going to take inputs for B1, B2, and B3. So first B1, B1. And I'm going to store this as B. So now you see why I skipped a letter. And for B2 as well. So our B2 b2 and let's store our b2 as the variable d and finally we need to take the input for b3 and that will be our last input so our b3 and let's store b3 as the variable f just for simplicity and now we can start making the formula for the dot product. So open parentheses AB plus CD, so CD, and plus EF, EF. There we go. Now we store all of this again using this STO with an arrow as the variable D. And now our last step is to simply display it. So display. And we're simply going to display dot product. Dot product. And finally, comma. D. And there you go, you now have your very own calculator program to find dot products of any two vectors. Thanks for watching and subscribe and leave a like. And you can also check out our other calculator program videos such as cross product and law of cosines and signs. See you next time on the Axon Files.